everybody, welcome to Country Silo Farm. I'm Tyson, and in this edition we're going to build a rabbit tractor. I uh, built this one last week. Uh, today I plan on building another one. Get as far as we can. The weather's been kind of crazy. Uh, let's get started building this rabbit tractor. <laughs> Fine halfway, which is three feet one inch and a half. Mark it. Got to have a whole lot of these braces. There's something like 40 or 50 you need for the whole thing.
All right, so standing in our bottom right now, we're gonna throw on the top of it and then we'll attach our lid with all these corners and sides. Hey everybody, Leah wanted to say hi. Hi. <laughs> Should we get the uh, hinges on the door? Yeah. Get it hooked to it? Uh -huh. All right, let's get to it. So you can see every one of these corners has three braces and I added this center one right here when you open the lid just because well bring it together and so it's even <laughs> when you close it so when we put the latch on it'll be even these boards are we're not the straightest so now they're more even with that center one. Looks like it might rain again. Clouds are looking kind of crazy. But we'll get as far as we can. Might turn into blue skies if we're lucky. All right, let's get on with it. There's my big helper. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw this four by two fencing on the bottom so when the grass grows through bunnies can eat it you can see it here doesn't doesn't mat down the grass too bad allows it to grow through so we're gonna throw that on you gonna help me out all right let's get this flipped over just gonna use regular staple gun Yep. Some heavy duty staples. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Okay, 
Can you hold that? All right. Well, it looks like it's gonna start raining. We'll have to finish this up another day or when it stops raining. So I'm gonna get cleaned up, I'm gonna get inside, get out of the rain. Okay, another break from the rain. Um, we're gonna get this fencing gone around the side here. We're gonna only do half of it because the other half we're gonna do some wood. Let's get to it. All right, I wanted to show you that I removed some of the wire right here to make room for that latch. I might have taken off a little bit too much, but it's all right. The rabbits will stay safe in there after we get done with it. A few years ago, we got a lot of these boards from our local salvage yard, and we use them for 
projects all around our farm here. And today we're gonna salvage some more and put them here on the rabbit tractor. Last but not least, we're going to throw these handles on so we can move it around easily. I kind of know we're going to need some to heat this up so we can uh, put the rabbits in take them out hands free. All right, so I wanna put a bolt in here. Right here, hold them together so it can swing up and have something else on top of the lid to where it can, you know, hold up the lid so we can get stuff in and out, maybe even feed them. I cut my two by two board, uh, two feet, three inches. Uh, went in two inches on one side where it's bolted to the rabbit hutch. And then I notched out the very end with that quarter inch drill bit for that quarter inch bolt to rest on that board. But it's pretty simple. And then I threw on a bracket that I had just lying around. So when you set it down, it'll just rest on it so it's not hanging where the rabbits are and it'll stay out of the way when it's not being used. Well, thanks for watching our video on how to make a rabbit tractor. In a few weeks here, when our rabbit's kid, they'll, mom will take care of them and it'll go in here 
graze all the fresh grass. Uh, make sure you click to subscribe, share, um, visit our Country Silo Farm website, and until next time, see you later.